So I've been asked a number of times to do tutorials on Tinkercad to show the working practices that I use. So instead of just assuming that you know things, what I'm trying to do is do the tutorials on what I think are core elements that might be a bit of a challenge. And of course, we've just done the video on the perpetual wedge. And in that, I used a very, very slight eccentric cam. Eccentric cams are, are a core thing to be able to make. I mean, crankshafts use exactly that. Slide valves on steam engines or air engines use exactly that. So making eccentric cams is really easy, but you may not know how to do it, so I thought I would share it with you. Okay, let's create a circle. We'll create a circle 100 by 100 by 2 millimeters thick, and the blue circle is going to be the path that we want our cam to trace. Now to pull down another cylinder here from the cylinder basic shapes, and we'll create ourselves the actual cam itself. And this is 80 by 80, and the cam will finish up being five. I'm doing it this large so that we can actually see what's happening, but this can be any size at all. I could have done this as 99, and it would still have made a cam with a very small eccentric. What we need, of course, is an axle. So we create a hole where we're going to rotate everything around, and that's 10 by 10. I never really bother changing the height. Now what we want to do is centre that hole to the blue one, because the blue one is going to be the path it traces, remember. So if we centre that to there, that will be the turning point of this small eccentric. Now we take the eccentric and the blue one, and we align it, but we align it to the centre of the blue in one direction, but the edge of the blue in the other direction. Now if we remove that blue circle and join these two up, we have ourselves a cam. If we stick an axle in that hole, rotate that orange circle, it will follow the path of the larger blue circle. And that's how easy they are to make. So that's how to do it. And it's the same procedure. There can be any thickness, any size, any degree of throw that you want. And of course here we've got a throw of about, I don't know, a millimetre or two, but sometimes making an eccentric is essential. Sometimes it's just useful, and that procedure is always the same. We did circles, but it'll do exactly the same with gears, because all gears are, are circles with indentations, so the whole thing works the same way. Anyway, I hope it is useful to somebody. Thank you very much for watching.